This is Gwendolyn Hustvet. Welcome to Textile Update. This is one in a series of videos where I introduce short topics related to textiles, both for the students in my courses as well as for people who may have just found this video and want to learn more about textiles. The topic today is fancy weaves. And we call a weave fancy not just because it looks fancy, because honestly, some of them don't look very fancy. Some of them, like Dobby weaves, may use very subtle designs. We call them fancy because the equipment you use to make them is not your basic weave, and the uh, final result has some type of design or figure or something else that makes it stand out from our basic weaves. Now, uh, the first one, I just already mentioned it, the Dobby weave is actually several centuries old. Uh, it involves an upgrade to a basic loom that allows you to manipulate uh, up to 25 yarns individually. And so the patterns are small, they're geometric, right, because uh, you're repeating the pattern and uh, they have to uh, uh, connect to each other. And so we might have little diamonds or little pluses. Uh, we can use uh, the uh, variation between warp and twill and satin weave in terms of their luster to make different uh, appearances on the fabric just with the light reflection. The dobby weaves are very handy for things like upholstery. The next time you're on an airplane and the seat in front of you is upholstered, chances are it's a dobby weave. Uh, we can also learn about the lino weave where we actually uh, manipulate the warp yarns to switch them in location. Uh, a pair are switched back and forth, allowing us to insert a filling yarn um, in there and hold it down very tightly. Uh, we will also learn about jacquard weaves, uh, which can make beautiful designs, damask, brocades, big fancy florals, tapestry weaves, uh, which used to be done on a tapestry frame and so are in fact incredibly ancient, but when mechanized are thanks to upgrades in machine technology that we've seen over the centuries. And then, of course, we're also going to learn about uh, pile weaves, things like velvet. We're going to learn about carpeting, tufting. This is actually a huge topic, huge enough that I need several days to cover this in the classroom. Are you ready to get fancy? Super.